this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I paint a very easy daisy design on this bottle. I decided to, I was trying to do uh, a video with using rubber bands and, and all that goodness, but that didn't work out. It ended up being a flop because I was going to try to have some of the some of the glass not covered with paint and just give it a unique look, that kind of thing. Well, didn't work. So I went ahead, cleared that off, and did full coverage of my sparkle paint. And basically it's called Glam Gold, and it is a folk, folk art product, a multi-surface. This has already been dry. So then I decided to do a video showing you just creating real easy, what I'm looking at as daisies. They could be a number of different types of flowers based on the strokes and whatnot. But just going to randomly do them all over the bottle and then put lights in it. And I think it should be very pretty. All right, so I'm going to be, sorry I have paint in here. I forgot to wash it off. But I'm using a number six, a magic flat brush and a number four Deerfoot Stippler. Seems to be my common brushes that I use now. And I'm using Moon Yellow. Very simple palette. Real brown. Wicker white. And then this is 14 karat gold. All of these, once again, are folk art paints. Most of them are the multi-surface. The white is the enamel paint. All right, so I'm just going to single dip this brush into my wicker white. And then I'm just going to start pulling the petals. And then just randomly placing these all throughout the, the bottle. I do want to kind of make my center a little bit more closed in. I don't want to have a huge center. And I also want good coverage, so going over these petals more than once will help do that. Plus the base cut that I already have on here, that will help as well. And there's no particular placement in mind, just very random. For the purpose of this video, I will just be doing the front of the bottle but I will be finishing it off with going around the entire thing because again I am intending to sell this bottle, it's a whiskey bottle actually, sell it as a lighted bottle because I really think that would be very pretty. All right, And you don't have to have any specific amount of petals in your flowers. I'm going to do like the noon, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock shape to create these. I can make them different lengths, different widths. Just make them, you know, kind of interesting when you're not doing them all the same length. You can actually have the centers pointing in different directions randomly all over the bottle. I, for the purpose of this video, will not be doing any greenery. But you can add leaves in if you really want to. That's up to you. And you can make some of the flowers bigger or smaller. Or try to keep them all the same size. Again, that is really up to you. I thought, you know, it's a fun, kind of a fun design would fit in. It's very neutral, so it will fit into really any home decor. At least I think. I think it would. The more opaque your design is, the more durable it's going to be. Just keep that in mind. When you're painting on glass, no matter what kind of glass, it's always a good idea to wash it with soap and water. Then go over it with some rubbing alcohol. And the reason for that is that will help remove any debris left behind that wasn't taken care of by hand washing it. And then that will help your paint adhere better 
to the glass. Also, with me having a base coat on this, that helps too because it does make make the paint already on the bottle a little thicker. And like I said, I'm just kind of going over some of these just to make sure it has good coverage. I like that. And you can just see how easy it's how easy this design is. If you're new to my channel, that is my goal to provide easy design ideas so that anybody can be successful when trying to be creative. Being creative using your mind to do something like this can actually help calm you if you're stressed. It's also a good project, fun project that you can create with friends, you know, family and friends. You can do it on any kind of bottle. See, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that I'm also painting on glass pickle jars. We eat a lot of pickles. Great little storage bins. And they're pretty, you know, all at the same time. All right, so I think I've done enough as far as these go. You get the gist. I'm going to do my Deerfoot stippler. I'm going to put the front part of the brush into the gold, the ink gold, and then the back end or the heel of it into the brown. And then I am going to start tapping in my centers. And if I need to have them a little thicker, I can do that. I want them bigger. I can make them bigger. It's really up to you. If you want to tip in to the moon yellow and just add a little bit of dimension to it with that, you can do that as well. But I will probably just do the gold and the brown right off the bat and then come back in and add that that moon yellow. Now I got too much brown on here. But that's okay. You can just work it. You can fix it you feel like you got too much. Just kind of work it to you have it the way you want it. And I like to have my centers kind of going in different directions so that they're not all headed headed the same way. It's a very very simple simple design but pretty. Yeah, you know, just imagine it. Yeah, stay tuned for it. I'm not going to show you lit up now because it's wet. But I can see this being very pretty. Nice ambiance for your room. Use these as night lights even. You know, in the child's room. In the bathroom. You can have them up on a shelf because the thing of it is that the lights that are put in them are battery operated so you don't have to worry about having any type of outlets to plug them in which that makes it nice. I'm going to turn this bottle this way. I just, I'm worried about setting it down and resting the bottle on the other side where I've painted. just don't want to do that. And I'm a pro at doing that, so that's why I worry about it. Definitely why. Like I said, and you can make them darker or lighter. You can come back through and add dots if you want. I'm not going to really do that to this one. I might add some dots to the part that's in between. I've thought about doing that. So I might do that. I'm kind of over this. Like I said, you can take stand back, take a peek at these, and just keep working them until you get the desired result. I'm going to go up to here. That's a little bit too much. Nose have it in there. 
tap it again. That one a little bit. And again, they don't have to be the same, identical, but not. They can be, they can vary from one flower to the next. And I think that's fine. All right, I think it's cute. What do you think? Give me a comment down below if you think this is a nice design. If you like this design, though, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell. Before you leave, finish watching the video, hit the share button underneath the video and share this on your social network with all your family and friends. Again, thanks so much for taking time to view my channel. You might want to stay around and see some of my other designs. And until the next time, please stay health and safety, safety, excuse me, safe, and you have a good one.